American Beauty is your soldering, brazing, and thermal wire stripping solution provider. All right, test and evaluation for uh, mid-continent instruments and avionics. These are thermal fuses on this board, and what they're trying to do is a new method of soldering to make it a little faster, a little better efficiency, and try not to activate these thermal fuses. We're using resistance soldering so that we can get an intense localized heat into the application. We want to put a little bit of flux in the uh, actual area that's going to be soldered on these thermal fuses. We're going to use a heat sinking clamp and put that just above the fuse. And we'll put the fuse up in the board. The heat sinking clamp is our model HS-A. I do have a clip underneath the board to hold this, which is helpful. You can see the, the run light when I activate the, uh, the power. Okay. I did uh, grind a flat on the electrode so that I could better orient these in this application. I'm going to come down right on the trace and a hold of the wire. Now I see that's our model 105127 handpiece. This is a model 105004 system. The handpiece, like you say, 105127, power unit, a 105A12, 250 watt power unit. We'll go ahead and make sure we flux that trace. We'll move the uh, heat sink for the next thermal fuse. We did uh, test these for continuity uh, to make sure they're working properly before we soldered and we will test it again after we soldered to make sure that, uh, that we did not uh, activate the thermal fuse link. Now when I'm doing this kind of in a backward order of what I would normally do in order to be able to process the video properly so that you can see each individual joint as we make it. Normally I would have soldered this lead first and then come back and did the other one uh, as far as accessibility goes. That solder is going liquid almost instantaneously. Visit us online at AmericanBeautyTools.com for a free in-house test and evaluation of your application.